Hey YouTube, it's Cat. Um, I figured that it was a long time since I posted up my last video and I would go and try to follow up on what was going on after MEPS. Um, I left MEPS and went home and everything. I texted my recruiter. I told him that I was done and he was like, well, Monday call me and so I called him and he was like, well, uh, you need to call me every Monday just to verify that nothing's really happened or anything. And, um, like, over the weekend or that week, because every Monday you have to call him whenever you enter up. You have to call him every Monday and you have to stop in his office once a week or once a month. And so I called him up. He was like, well, is there a way that you can come in sometime this week? So I said, yeah, I'll stop in on Wednesday. So Wednesday I went into his office and he, uh, there is him, the recruiter that took me to take my ASVAB and my recruiters, like the boss. So, um, the one that took me down to get my ASVAB, he, uh, stood up and shook my hand and he said, congratulations. I bet you that you're happy and everything. And so then uh, he went and he asked me what jobs I put down on my list. And I told him, I told him that I got, or I put down for aerospace medical service, airfield management, security forces, biomedical engineering, bi or bioenvironmental engineering, and uh, emergency management. And... So then I mentioned how I didn't get the jobs that I wanted, which was in flight or fueling security force or in flight or fuel in flight or fueling, um fire protection and EOD. And my recruiter's boss went and said, What do you mean you didn't get the jobs you wanted? I said I wasn't eligible for them. And he went and he said, Well, if you wait a minute I'll tell you why you weren't eligible for them. And I told him I was like, EOD, I didn't have an ASVAB score high enough. Um, fire protection, I'm not sure, and in-flight or fuel, and I failed my depth perception. And so then my recruiter went back, got my height and weight while his boss was looking it up and everything. And um, whenever it got down to him telling me what I did wrong and I, like what why I wasn't eligible, he was like, you were eligible for EOD. I said, no, I didn't have an ASVAB score high enough. And he went, he said, well, here it says that you did. And, like, he was like, you have an ASVAB score high enough? I said, no, you had to score a 50 in the mechanical and, like, a 60 in the electrical. And so then he was like, oh, no, you're right. I was like, yeah, like, I didn't really say it, but I was like, yeah, I know, I did my research. And then I was like, in flight or fueling, I failed depth perception. And he said, well, did they test how much weight you can lift and everything? I said, no. He was like, well, for fire protection, you need to be able to lift 100 pounds. And it says here that you can only lift 75, 80. So I was like, well, they never tested me or anything. And he was like, okay, well, I'm going to call down and ask them why they didn't test you and stuff. So um, he went and he said, would you be able to lift 100 pounds? I said, I don't know. And he was like, well, can you lift one of those air packs up over? I said, yeah. I was like, I could toss that up over my back or up over my head onto my back. He's like, well, then you should be fine. And he was basically telling me if I go to a gym or whatever uh, and I can lift it, then he would go and tell me that I'd be eligible for it. And then a couple, like a week later or something, I stopped back in the office and he was there. And I mentioned on how I didn't really like the jobs that I picked and he said well you need to get me a good list of jobs that you want to do so I said okay well I went and put nine jobs or 19 jobs down and security forces was like number 19 my number one job was uh, bioenvironmental engineering and so I got and I get a call from my well yeah I get a call from my recruiter I was at training so I couldn't answer and he goes and he says, well, I got a job for you if you want to give me a call back and stuff. So I called him back and 
he told me that he will text me what the job was and everything. He wasn't sure what it was, but he'll text me the AFSC. So he texted it to me, and I went and I looked, and I wasn't eligible for it because you needed a mechanical score of 56 or something, and I only got like 54. Um, and uh, he said, well, just go home and see if that's what job you want to do and stuff. If it's not, then let me know. I said, okay, well. I went home and looked it up and everything, like I wanted to do it, but I also wanted to work my way up to getting fire protection, so um, I went in and talked to him and stuff, and he like offered me another job, which was security forces, and I went and I said, well, I don't want it, and so him and the boss kind of got mad at me, and his boss went and went through all this hassle of contacting my brother and everything and then uh he was basically saying that if I didn't choose a job that I'd go in as undecided and he kind of contacted my brother without my permission and I was kind of mad about that I talked to him and he went and he said no the reason why I called your brother is to tell your brother not to tell you what good, what jobs are good jobs and what jobs are bad jobs and so then uh, he was like, you need to get me a list of jobs that you really want to do. I said, okay, well, um, I didn't go back in and I got a call from my recruiter to, because I've been working out and everything and I was able to lift, um, I think it was 75 pounds six times. So I told the boss that and he kind of called down at MEPS and told him that I could lift 100 pounds to get me eligible for firefighting. And I got a call, and well, I called my recruiter in May to see about if, like, the end of May, if I got a job. And he went, he said, yeah, you got your job. And I said, well, what is it? He's like, fire protection. I went, and I was like, okay, when does it ship out? He's like, August 16th. So it's now July 6th. I ship out August 16th. And, um... That's about 40 days away, so I'll keep posting videos up. I had a 45-day briefing, and what that was was I went in and got my height weight done, and most of the people that enlist, they're always, like, most of them get disqualified because of their height and weight. They gain weight. They can't go in or whatever. They get in trouble. So my recruiter's been trying to tell me that to uh, stop, uh, like, try not to get in trouble, which I told him, I was like, I've never gotten in trouble, like, I haven't done anything, I haven't, I didn't do drugs, I didn't, I've never dated, I've never done anything, like, I don't know, and he was like, I was like, and I guess I still have about 15, 20 pounds to gain, before I'd be overweight, and that's not going to happen, and, um, so the 45-day briefing, I went in, got my visitor's pass form, and got the papers to set up direct deposit, and to get a bank account together, and what you want to bring, and what you can't bring to basic, so I guess what's going to happen is, since I ship out the 16th, the 15th, I have to go back down to MEPS. They're going to do like a post-physical. And all that is is checking your height and weight. And saying has anything changed since last time you've been here. And everything. And then you go and sign, fill out paperwork and stuff. Go to the hotel. Stay at the hotel, then wake up early in the morning, go take your oath, and then you get on the bus and go to the airport. So your family members can come to get your oath, but it's not recommended that they go to the airport. And um, I also, if you guys have Facebook, 
most depending on whenever you guys ship out there is a group which there's a group for August 2011 it's Air Force BMT August 2011 and it's all the shippers that are shipping out in August and I've met about maybe 10 or so that are shipping out the same day as me and it's kind of cool cuz they get to you explain like what you're going through they know exactly what you're feeling like the anxiety being nervous and everything so um they know what you're feeling and it basically gets down to them being family and stuff i've been getting a study group together where we learn the stuff you need for to know for bmt which is your ranks airman's creed your core values the air force song the chain of command i have the air the creed down the ranks officer and enlisted the core values i'm working on the chain of command and the air force song so um but they became like family to me and everything like they became closer friends than I have right around where I live that I grew up with and I've only known them for maybe two three weeks and I'd do anything for them like I don't know which reminds me that I'm gonna give a shout out to Joy Jones and Sydney Sprout um, and they're ones that are part of this study group and stuff. Sydney has videos posted up. I think hers is name her name is Sanctuary Sisters. Um she has one video up and Joy was making one video so if you guys want to check them out, they're going through the same thing as me. They're shipping out the same day as me. Um I'm actually going and meeting Sydney for dinner um on Sunday so I don't know. I guess that's about it for now. I kind of got all caught up. I go for my 40 or 30 day briefing in July, like July 18th. What you do is you go and get 45 day briefing, 30 day, 15, and then it's like every two weeks you meet and then every other week, or then every week you meet. So uh, I also figured out that I get my braces off August 13th or August 10th, which is the Wednesday before I ship out, and so I kind of can't wait for that because I'm getting tired of having braces on, and I'm not really nervous yet for basic, but it hasn't really hit me that I'm leaving. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can ask me. You guys can do a video response, do whatever, and I'll try to answer the best of my ability if you have any questions about the delayed entry program or anything about MEPS or the process or if you guys are shipping out the same day as me so if you guys have any questions you can comment down below you can subscribe what is that subscribe do whatever um, I'm here I'll post up my Facebook so you guys can become friends and stuff so I'll talk to you later, YouTube.